Hi guys, so excuse my face, I don't have makeup on at the moment. I just wanted to talk about the withdrawals that I'm having from my depression medication, Effexor. Um, they're not nearly as bad as what people said they were. I mean, I'm not having really bad results or bad withdrawals. I've had withdrawals from Zoloft and that was way worse than this. Um, Basically, the only two symptoms I'm having that are basically new that I haven't been having at all is I'm having really bad hot flashes. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm fucking sweating. This wig is not helping with the hot flashes right now. I am so hot. Um, and the only other new like symptom I'm having is like burning mouth. Like my, my lips are kind of chapped. The inside of my mouth is kind of burning and like it feels like I burnt my tongue or something. Like there's like sore, like a sore there or something, but I don't see anything there. And I looked some stuff up and it sounds like burning mouth syndrome, but that affects women in their forties. I'm not 40 and I'm, I wasn't born biologically female. So I don't know if people, like guys can get burning mouth syndrome. But that's what it seems like it is, and there's no cure for it. Um, also, I think I might be an allergic reaction to something, possibly, because I recently ate a, a new type of, like, thing, which was a, like, a waffle bar. It was, like, chocolate. And, like, maybe two days later, my lips started burning, and maybe, but if it was allergic reaction, it would have happened recent, like, right away, right? I don't. I don't know how allergic reactions work because I'm not normally allergic to things except for grass and cheese. I'm lactose intolerant, but I eat cheese anyways because fucking goddamn it, no one's going to take cheese away from me. Um, <laughs> cheese is my life. Uh, so it's like, it's, it's worth a little bit of, you know, diarrhea. Anyways. So those are the only two symptoms I'm having so far of the, um, you know, withdrawals from the effects or. Hopefully that's what this mouth situation is. It's not thrush. Hopefully it's not thrush. I need to go to my doctor and get tested if this doesn't get better. Um, by Monday, I'm calling her. I went in. I got tested for like STDs and shit. Not like I would be like having one, but like I wanted to be safe. Just to be sure. I got tested for everything. She said she wanted to do the herpes test because um, apparently people test positive for herpes even if it's like a false positive, because a lot of people already have it in them. And she said that she wouldn't be able to tell if I had recently gotten it or gotten it in the past. So it's not like I've been licking some fucking stalls or something to get it, but my brother knows everything that I'm talking about and he knows why, what I'm not saying at the moment. Um, but she said it's a very low chance that I even have herpes because there's no, you know, lesions in my mouth. There's nothing there. Um, so that's good. But if this doesn't get better by Monday, I'm definitely calling her and going back in because it's scaring me. I took Benadryl yesterday and it kind of calmed down whatever the fuck is happening in there. Um, so maybe it's a re allergic reaction, but I took a really strong um, anti What is that called? Anti not to, not anti-amphetamine, girl. What is that called? Antihistamine. Okay, it's called antihistamine, not antiphetamine. Um, I took a really strong one today, and that didn't do shit. That didn't work. Benadryl helps. Like I don't know if Benadryl's different than um, whatever I took. Maybe you should not get an antihistamine from a gas station. Um, so maybe I just need to stick to Benadryl, which is like the one without the dye or something. I don't know. Um, so if anybody has experienced what I'm experiencing in my mouth or like uh, during um, withdrawals of effects or please comment down below so it doesn't, so I can like not worry so much because I'm freaking out and my dad and brother keep on telling me like, bitch, you don't have herpes, stop. Like I'm like self-diagnosing, thinking I have herpes, thinking I have um, thrush, thinking I have um, burning mouth syndrome, thinking I have all of these fucking things. And my, and my dad and brother are just like getting really annoyed with me because I keep on bitching and I keep on like almost crying and worrying that I have certain things that I probably most definitely do not have. Um, 
but I'm a hypochondriac, so I think every time like I'm sexually active, I'm gonna get an STD. Um, and God, I'm such a stupid bitch. Anyways, comment down below if you know what I'm talking about or if you've experienced this when you're getting off of uh, Effexor or if you heard anything about this, like heard anything like similar to what this is in my mouth. Um, so I don't have to freak out. But if it is something bad, I definitely am going back to the doctor to get tested for everything else. Um, my boob is itching. Also, I have gained so much weight. I've gained seven pounds in a month from my hormones. So I'm going on a diet and I'm going to be walking more and eating more. So that's new. I'm so I'm kind of pissed about it. I was 204. No, I was 203 when I started and now I'm 211. So that's quite a bit of weight that I gained. Um, hopefully I can get back down. But she said we're gonna we're gonna follow that situation. Make sure I don't get up to 300. Um, not like 300 is bad or anything. I mean it kind of is for your health, but like. Who cares? If I get 300 pounds, I get 300 pounds. If people don't like it, they can suck my ass. Um, oh, speaking of that, I told the telemarketer to suck my ass today. And it was an accident. I didn't mean to do it. Like, it wasn't like I randomly just said suck my ass. He was, like, talking, and then I, I, it was fucking annoying. And it wasn't anything I was interested in, so I just told him to suck my ass. And I hung up. Anyways, I need to just stop talking. I will talk to you guys later. Thumbs up, subscribe. You really don't have to, but I'd really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys Tomorrow, hopefully. Bye.